That Christ in us is our hope of glory. Peace and blessings. This is Father Paulo for IEZ 2016. The three-day theological symposium prior to the 51st International Eucharistic Congress has begun. Around 1,500 pilgrims from all over the world came to Cebu Doctors University Auditorium to attend talks from renowned speakers such as Dominican Timothy Radcliffe and Salesian Francis Maloney. The assembly began with a morning prayer led by Monsignor Vicente Rey Peñagunda, rector of the Seminario Mayor de San Carlos. Archbishop Jose Palma of Cebu then officially welcomed the pilgrims and opened the Congress. Benvenuti a tutti. Bienvenidos a todos. Welcome to Cebu, the cradle of Christian civilization in Asia. On his powerful and deeply moving talk on the Christian virtue of hope, Father Radcliffe said, Our task is to make signs that will draw people to Christ because they embody a hope beyond words. Father Maloney expounded on the theme of the Eucharist the and the Gospel begins. of John. He shared what Jesus meant when he said loving his disciples to the end, a love that includes Judas, the disciple who betrayed Jesus. In the afternoon, seven tracks of workshops were held simultaneously, headed by pious disciple Sister Gemma Victorino on the Eucharist, source and goal of the Church's mission. Jesuit Father Jose Quilong Quilong on the Eucharist and mission in Asia. Integrating Dialogue and Proclamation Monsignor Gerardo Santos on the Eucharist in the Church's Dialogue with Cultures Marinol Missionary Father James Kruger on the Eucharist in the Church's Dialogue with Religions and Religious Traditions Vincentian Father Daniel Pilario on the Eucharist in the Church's Dialogue with the Poor and the Marginalized Salesian Father Francis Gustilo on the Eucharist in the Church's dialogue with the youth. Religious of the Virgin Mary, Sister Anishako, on the Mary and the Eucharist in the contemporary mission of the Church. The said workshop will continue for the duration of the symposium. The first day of the symposium ended with a Mass presided by newly installed Bishop of Caloocan, Pablo David. In his stirring homily, Bishop David stressed that even as the Eucharist was conceived on the night that Jesus was betrayed, that shameful meal of denial and betrayal was transformed by the Lord to a meal of unconditional love and forgiveness. Speakers for the second and third day include Viatorian Father Mark Francis on liturgy and enculturation, Most Reverend Piero Marini on a history of the Novus Ordo, Basilian Father Thomas Rosica on evangelizing a secular world, and Dr. Josefina Manabat on a catechesis on Sunday liturgy. Please follow us on our social media accounts. This has been Father Paulo Asper of the Society of St. Paul for IEZ 2016. That Christ in us is our hope of glory.